Good happy Thursday evening. I'm Riley King and welcome to Sports with Riley King. Let's begin. First up, let's begin with your hometown hero with WMR News 9, Jason King. After tragedy, Merrimack Valley Star returns to court. And let's take a listen to this video. Want to know what's trending this month at Keen Mitsubishi? We're dropping up prices within... Carly Huckins is a senior point guard for the Merrimack Valley girls basketball team and just last week joined the school's 1,000 point club. But just last summer, she wasn't sure she would play basketball again. Her father Dave, who won a state championship at Merrimack Valley as a player and then led the girls team to its first state championship as a coach, passed away in September of 2017 after a battle with cancer. Carly reached 1,000 points with the three most emotional foul shots of her life. I knew my dad would have been really proud. I knew he wanted to be there. The three foul shots at the end, I, I'd missed pretty much every single foul shot throughout that game, so I was kind of in my head, but I think that my dad shot those three, three free throws for me. I really do. Carly's name will be added to the banner, joining a few other Huckins, including her father. The 17-year-old from Loudoun is a two-year captain for the girls' team and says she's so happy she decided to come back to the game that she shared with her dad. I am having so much fun, and I really couldn't imagine what I'd do with my life without it. Off the court, Carly belongs to the National Honor Society and the Future Business Leaders of America. She's also in the CRTC program for teaching. She currently interns at Bosquin Elementary School, and when she graduates high school, will already have 16 college credits, which she will use at Southern New Hampshire University, studying elementary and special education. Carly Huckins is this week's hometown hero. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report, and we wish her the very best in her education and on the court in basketball. It never gets old to say Tom Brady's parent. Let's take a listen to the video. Want to know what's trending this month at Keen Mitsubishi? We're dropping up prices with incredible... The Bradys remember everything about their first Super Bowl 17 years ago. Probably the most vivid because it was the first one and it was so unexpected. The details of the other seven, well, they're a bit more fuzzy. We remember the locations. Yeah. And they were all so different, different teams, different players, you know, you're getting nervous about. What's different about this year's Super Bowl is that both starting quarterbacks are from the Bay Area. The Rams' Jared Goff is not only from Novato, his dad works out of a fire station only 6.1 miles from the Brady's home. If your house were caught on fire, it is possible that Jerry Goff could be one of the firefighters to come to that <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah, you know, you know them. And I have to say, I've never met a fireman that I didn't like, so I'm right. sure that when we get a chance to meet someday, we're gonna hit it off quite well. The entire Brady family, including the grandchildren, have traveled to each of Tom's Super Bowls and will meet up again in Atlanta. It never gets old. Mm -hmm. Going back to the Super Bowl is spectacular. That's what we all hope for. You still get nervous for the game? Absolutely. I'm already just sitting here talking about it. I'm getting the, the shakes. <laughs> yeah. And when we finish, we'll go have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> they hope to have another in celebration on Sunday night. Okay, and there you go on that video. Very cool indeed. Pittsburgh TV employee fired for using graphic to call Tom Brady known cheater.
an employee of the CBS affiliate in Pittsburgh was reportedly fired after using on-air graphics to take a dig at New England Patriots quarterback Tom Brady. The graphic, which ran during the 4 p.m. news, identified Brady as a known cheater. Patriots haters quickly noticed the Easter egg and shared it on social media. According to Sports Illustrated, the person responsible for the message is no longer employed. If Brady and the Patriots win the Super Bowl this weekend, they will tie the Pittsburgh Steelers for the most championship wins in history. Brady already has five Super Bowl rings compared to two owned by the Steelers quarterback Ben Rosenberg. Kraft expects Brady, 41, to continue for quite a while as our quarterback. New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft said Wednesday that he's open to extending quarterback Tom Brady's contract. I think about it. In the last three years, we've been privileged to go to the Super Bowl with a quarterback in place. I would be quite surprised if he didn't continue for quite a while as our quarterback, Kraft told reporters at a pre-Super Bowl event. Brady, 41, on Sunday will become the oldest quarterback to start in the Super Bowl. It will be his record-setting ninth appearance in a big game. He's won the Super Bowl five times and was named MVP of four of those games. This season, Brady set NFL records for career passing yards and passing touchdowns. Having the head coach that we have and having Tom there's a unique symmetry there and chemistry, and it carries over to the whole organization. I think we're very lucky, Kraft said. Brady has been on the New England Patriots roster for 19 seasons. And we wish Brady and the rest of the players, good luck in Super Bowl this coming Sunday. Athletes, celebrities hit the red carpet for pre-Super Bowl party. Let's take a listen to the video from WMUR News 9, Jamie Staston. trending this month at Keen Mitsubishi. We're chopping up prices with incredible savings on the red Oh, here comes some celebrities now. I gotta get off the red carpet. Come on out. Don't let me get in your way. See, that's what happens when non-celebrities try to cross the ropes and get on the red carpet. Big Super Bowl party going on. We're gonna take you inside the party in just a moment. But first, let's take a look at some video of some of the celebrities and athletes showing up. This event is for the MVP Foundation Merging Vets and players getting current players together with veterans coming back from overseas and they tend to get together and help each other out in so many valuable ways. It's a great foundation and this party kind of kicks off all the Super Bowl parties that'll be going on this week. Tons of celebrities, actors, actresses, and athletes coming together tonight. What do you see for Sunday? You know, I see Tom Brady being the GOAT that he is. Um, I do feel like this is the most pressure he's faced since the Giants, uh, I hope for a blowout, or <laughs> the Patriots. You want to see the Patriots win? Yeah, because the wrong team is in the Super Bowl. Do you think it'll be a good game? It's, it's definitely going to be a good game. All the games have been outstanding, all the uh, playoff games, the wild card games. 
really for the last two years, I don't think none of us have ever seen better football. We're from New Hampshire. Ever been there? No, I've never been, but I will go. So shout out to New Hampshire then. Shout out to New Hampshire. All right, before we toss it back, follow me. We want to sneak into this party. We don't have an invitation. We don't need an invitation. We're going in. Let's go. Let's crash this thing. This is what a Super Bowl party looks like, people. Huge room, multiple screens, DJs. It's dark, it's loud, and it's fun. All kinds of football players. In fact, I'm going to say goodbye. I'm just appearing into the party, New Hampshire. We'll see you later. Jamie Staten, News Night Sports. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Very cool indeed. Looks like Jamie Staston from WMUR News 9 is having a fun time down in Atlanta. Monarchs lose 6-0. to zero. The Manchester Monarchs fell behind early and stayed behind in a 6-0 to zero E-C-H-L loss to Andrew Dak on Wednesday night at SNHU Arena in Manchester. Dylan and Michael scored two goals apiece for the Thunder, who outshot Manchester 43-20. to The Manchester Monarchs host Maine on Friday at 7 p.m. Are you looking for a summer job this summer? Well, New Hampshire Fisher Cats, forget the snow outside in just one week you can land your perfect summer job. Hiring day, spring slash summer jobs for the New Hampshire Fisher Cats. If you are interested, go Wednesday, February 6th for this event. February 6th and February 9th. They will be doing a hiring day, and you work at New Hampshire Fish Cats. What a great way. And New Hampshire Fish Cats will be playing in spring and summer baseball. And all of us here at the Riley King Network like and enjoy going to the Fish Cats games. And I hope you all have a wonderful night, everyone. And that does it for Sports with Riley King. Have a wonderful night, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for another edition of Sports with Riley King. Good night, everyone. Bye.